New Brain Implant Begins Human Trials Will Blow Your Mind Away Hello everyone, welcome to the Tech Hand. In this video, we are excited to share with you the latest breakthrough in the field of neurotechnology. A new brain implant has just begun human trials and it has the potential to revolutionize the way we treat neurological disorders and injuries. This cutting edge technology could change the lives of millions of people around the world. Before getting into the video, please make sure to click the subscribe button and bell icon. Let's dive in. Brain Implants in Human A brain implant, also known as a neural implant, is a device that is surgically implanted into the brain in order to treat neurological disorders or injuries. The implant can be used to monitor brain activity, stimulate specific areas of the brain, or to deliver drugs. This technology is still in the early stages of development and human trials are limited. It is also an experimental treatment and not widely available. Brain implants have the potential to be a game changer in the field of neurotechnology, but more research is needed to fully understand their safety and efficacy. Uses of Brain Implant Number 1. Parkinson's Disease Implants can be used to deliver electrical stimulation to specific areas of the brain to improve symptoms of Parkinson's disease such as tremors, stiffness, and difficulty with coordination. Number 2. Epilepsy Implants can be used to monitor brain activity and detect seizures in patients with epilepsy. Number 3. Depression Implants can be used to deliver electrical stimulation to specific areas of the brain that are thought to be involved in mood regulation in order to treat symptoms of depression. Number four, brain injury. Implants can be used to monitor brain activity and help with rehabilitation in patients who have suffered brain injuries. Number five, spinal cord injury. Implants can be used to deliver electrical stimulation to the spinal cord in order to improve function in patients who have suffered spinal cord injuries. Does brain implant technology have potential to change lives? Brain implant technology has the potential to change the lives of people suffering from a variety of neurological disorders and injuries. It has the potential to improve symptoms and even cure certain conditions. For example, deep brain stimulation, DBS, has been known to be an effective treatment for Parkinson's disease and essential tremor, providing significant improvement in symptoms such as tremors, stiffness, and difficulty with coordination. The cochlear implant has been able to help Help people with severe hearing loss to hear again. It also has the potential to improve the quality of life for people who have suffered brain injuries by monitoring brain activity and helping with rehabilitation. Additionally, the technology has the potential to help with conditions such as depression, epilepsy, and chronic pain. However, it's important to note that the technology is still in the early stages of development and human trials are limited. There is still much that needs to be learned about the potential risks and benefits of brain implants, and more research is needed before the technology can be widely adopted. Ideas of Elon Musk on Brain Implant Elon Musk, the CEO of SpaceX and Neuralink, has spoken publicly about his ideas for brain implants. He believes that brain implants, also known as neural implants, could be used to enhance human capabilities and help people keep pace with advancements in artificial intelligence. He envisions a future where people can communicate with computers and machines directly through their brain and has stated that this technology could allow for things like telepathy telekinesis, and direct communication with AI. Musk founded Neuralink, a neurotechnology company that aims to develop brain-machine interfaces to connect humans and computers. The company has been developing a brain implant called the Link, which is a small chip that is implanted into the brain using a surgical robot. The Link is intended to provide a high bandwidth interface between the human brain and the digital world. It is meant to be used to improve human abilities such as memory, learning, and movement and potentially provide a cure for neurological disorders. While the technology is still in the early stages of development, Musk and Neuralink team have been making progress on the implant. They have been doing testing on animals to show that the implant works and is safe. However, the technology is not yet available for human use, and more research and testing is needed before it can be used to enhance human capabilities or treat neurological disorders. First Trials of Brain Implant by Elon Musk The first trials of the brain implant developed by Elon Musk's company Neuralink were conducted on animals, specifically on pigs. The trial was conducted in 2020, where a chip was implanted in the brain of a pig and was able to record the neural activity of the animal. The company showed a video of a pig named Gertrude, whose brain activity was being monitored by the chip. 
which was able to detect and display the pig's sniffs and movements. The company's goal with this trial was to demonstrate that the implant, called the Link, could be safely implanted and accurately record brain activity. In the future, the company plans to test the implants in humans. It's important to note that the technology is still in its early stages of development, and human trials have not yet begun. More research and testing is needed before the implant can be used to enhance human capabilities or treat neurological disorders. Also, it's important to mention that there's still a long way to go before the technology is widely available and fully understood. Safety and efficacy of the implant need to be evaluated by the FDA and other regulatory bodies. In recent years, there have been a few trials of brain implants in monkeys, which have been conducted by researchers in academic and government institutions. These trials have been aimed at understanding the potential of brain implants for treating neurological disorders and injuries, as well as for enhancing human capabilities. One example is a study conducted by researchers at the University of Pittsburgh, where a brain implant was used to restore hand movement in a monkey with a spinal cord injury. The implant was able to stimulate specific areas of the brain to allow the monkey to move its hand again. Another example is a study conducted by researchers at the University of California, Berkeley, where a brain implant was used to restore vision in a blind monkey. The implant was able to bypass the damaged part of the monkey's eye and stimulate the visual cortex of the brain, allowing the monkey to see again. It's important to note that these trials are still in the early stages of development and more research is needed to fully understand the safety and efficacy of brain implants in non-human primates before they can be used in humans. Also, it is important to mention that the use of non-human primates in medical research is a highly controversial issue, and the ethical considerations of such trials should be carefully weighed. Human Brain Implant Trials The first human trial of a brain implant was conducted in the 1960s by Dr. Jose Delgado, a neuroscientist at Yale University. He implanted electrodes into the brains of patients with mental disorders, such as schizophrenia and depression, in order to study the effects of electrical stimulation on brain activity and behavior. Another early human trial was the cochlear implant, a device that was first implanted in a human in the 1970s. The cochlear implant is a type of brain implant that helps people who have severe hearing loss to hear again by converting sound into electrical signals that are sent to the brain. Elon Musk's company Neuralink aims to soon test its brain implant, called the Link, in people. The company has been developing the Link, which is a small chip that is implanted in the brain using a surgical robot, with the goal of providing a high bandwidth interface between the mortal brain and the digital world. The company has stated that the Link could be used to enhance human abilities such as memory, learning, and movement, and between potentially provide a cure for neurological disorders. Neuralink has been doing testing on animals to show that the implant works and is safe, but has not yet begun human trials. The company has stated that it plans to begin human trials soon, although it is not clear exactly when that will happen. The company has said that the first human trials will be focused on patients with spinal cord injuries and brain injuries, with the goal of restoring movement and sensation. Are brain implants the future of computing? Brain implants, also known as neural implants, have the potential to be a key part of the future of computing. The idea is that a brain-machine interface, BMI, would allow for a direct connection between the human brain and a computer, enabling new forms of communication and interaction. This technology could allow for things like telepathy, telekinesis, and direct communication with AI. One potential application for brain implants in computing is in the field of artificial intelligence, AI. By connecting the human brain directly to a computer, it could enable people to communicate with AI systems in a more natural and intuitive way. This could make it easier for people to interact with and control AI systems, and could also make it possible for AI systems to learn and adapt more quickly. Are you enjoying our video? Before we get further, please like this video and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on more amazing videos from us. Let's continue to explore the brain implant. Will Elon Musk Neuralink really change the world? It is difficult to predict the exact impact that Neuralink and its brain implant technology will have on the world, as it is still in the early stages of development. However, it has the potential to change the way we treat neurological disorders and injuries, as well as to enhance human capabilities. The company's goal is to develop a brain-machine interface, BMI, that can allow for a direct connection between a human brain and a computer, enabling new forms of communication and interaction. This technology could allow for things like telepathy, telekinesis, and direct communication with AI, which could change the way we interact with technology. Here are some of the risks deployed in brain implant. 
risks and complications. Brain implants involve surgery, which carries risks such as infection, bleeding, and other complications. Additionally, there may be long-term risks associated with the implant, such as brain damage or malfunction of the implant. Lack of understanding. Brain implants are still in the early stages of development, and we do not yet fully understand the safety and efficacy of the technology. More research is needed to fully understand the risks and benefits of brain implants before they can be widely adopted. Cost. Brain implants are likely to be expensive, which could make them inaccessible to many people. Ethical considerations. The use of brain implants to enhance human capabilities raises ethical questions about the nature of humanity and the implications of such technology for society. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Let us know in the comments that you're subscribed and what you think of this video. We will reply to you personally. You can also give a thumbs up. Thanks for that.